Welcome to your South Texas Multimedia Weather Briefing. I am meteorologist Penny Zabel and today is Sunday, May 25th, 2014. Our weather headlines today will take a look at warm and humid conditions and then our rain chances for the week. And we've got some hotter temperatures forecast by midweek. A look at satellite this morning. An upper level low pressure center over the Rockies has kept moisture over west and north Texas the past few days where they are receiving some much needed rainfall. It has also kept clouds over much of the center of the country. As that low pressure center progresses eastward today and Monday, thunderstorm chances will spread eastward with the deeper moisture. Most of the coastal bend will remain dry today, but we'll see a slight chance for showers and storms on Monday. The rest of the area will see isolated to scattered showers today and Monday. There will also be a moderate risk for dangerous rip currents on Monday. Highs will remain normal across the area with low 90s in the west and mid to upper 80s the rest of the area. This upper level low will gradually weaken as it sags south over the next few days, but it will keep a chance of rain in the forecast throughout the week. The highest rainfall totals are forecast to stay well north of South Texas, but areas in the northern coastal bend and brush country, as well as the Victoria Crossroads, could see around an inch of rain. Most of South Texas will be closer to half an inch, however. By the middle and late part of the week, we'll see warming temperatures. Around 100 degrees will be possible in the Laredo area, as moisture moves farther east on Wednesday. Later in the week, temperatures will be very dependent on where rainfall occurs, but it does look to be warm to hot throughout the week. While hurricane season has not heated up yet in the Atlantic, the Pacific has had a major hurricane form this weekend. Category 4 Hurricane Amanda is located well south of Manzanillo, Mexico and is expected to move north and northeast over the next few days. The storm could strengthen today but should begin weakening tomorrow as it moves into less favorable conditions. At this time it is expected that Amanda will dissipate before reaching any land areas. This concludes your South Texas Multimedia Weather Briefing. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to use the Contact Us link on the bottom left-hand side of our homepage. Thanks for watching.